Okay, having covered uh, the the basics, the the reasons, the rationale behind business continuity planning and why you should shovel your sidewalk because otherwise you might get sued and things like that. Um, some of the more formal uh, aspects of uh, the rationale. Um, the you know, there are benefits. Um, just besides the fact that if you don't do it, you might go out of business. Um, there are uh, both direct benefits from doing it and indirect benefits. Um, you, you know, there, as I say, there's a, a big overlap with risk management. And uh, by doing the business impact analysis, by, by looking at your business and what is most crucial to your business, um, you may suddenly realize that certain things that you have not been paying attention to are, in fact, uh, rather vital to your business and may need to be uh, considered or protected uh, better than you have done up until now. Um, so, you know, there's, uh, you know, and, and other related issues uh, to risk management. Um, now, uh, there's business continuity management, there's business continuity planning, um, you know, there, there are, uh, different aspects of, of what to do here. And so there's going to be, um, different benefits arise out of it. In regard to, uh, this, you know, we are, uh, we're looking at disasters. So what is a disaster? Um, that is, uh, not always easy to, uh, determine. Um, for one thing, uh, you know, a disaster is a disaster the same as an incident, uh, an incident which is uh, detrimental. Um, well, you know, possibly so. But are the, um, you know, is the fact that the snow has fallen, uh, you know, that's an event. It's the fact that... Um, the, the roads are on cloud that, you know, there, there is difficulty in, in travel, that's, um, that's an incident. The events, you know, there are a, a number of events contribute to that. Number one is the snow falling. Number uh, two is, um, you know, people deciding, oh, we don't need to bother with clearing the snow. Um, you know, and, and all of a sudden we get into a situation where uh, we're in difficulty. We uh, have difficulty in uh, continuing our, our business. So, um, and, and you know, I, I mean, snow falling elsewhere, uh, that's just a regular part of, of the routine of the business. And, and people clear the snow and have the uh, facilities to do that and, and have the budget uh, planned for that uh, and, and just do it. Um, you know, and here it's unusual. Um, that makes it uh, more of a problem. Um, and the fact that people don't consider it a problem uh, also makes it more of a problem. So, you know, we, we've got a number of, of issues here. Um, I, I remember uh, researching one presentation one time, um, and as I was doing so, heard a report um, about ice climbers and uh, for ice climbers a danger a risk an event that could lead to a disaster is the sun coming out you know for most people the sun coming out is a good thing uh, for them you know this this raises the risk it changes the situation so um, you know they're it's, it's not always um, clear, 
you know, what are potentially disastrous events. Um, and of course, you know, there are, uh, there are natural disasters. Earthquakes, uh, hurricanes, um, floods, uh, you know, th those types of things. Um, again, you know, you, you have to consider that. What is the impact on your business going to be? Um, there are uh, system or technical disasters or potential disasters, outages, uh, malicious attacks, malware, um, intrusions, ransomware, that, that sort of thing. Um, then there's the, uh, you know, your supply systems, what, you know, uh, the infrastructure that you rely on. How's your power? Um, we we'll talked a bit about that uh, in physical security. Um, and then human uh, disasters or, or potential disasters. Um, we have, uh, you know, high crime areas. Are we in a high crime area? Um, uh, disgruntled employees. Um, <laughs> I, one of the seminars that I taught, we actually had a, a real honest disgruntled postal worker. Uh, you know, so when we talked about firearms there, we, uh, we were very careful about it. Um, and, and political events, you know, uh, demonstrations, riots uh, in the situation. You know, what, uh, what is it that we need to address? How is it going to affect us? How is it going to affect our business? Can we continue? Or do we have, uh, you know, issues that we need to address to ensure that we can continue in operation or get back into operation if we have been affected by one of these incidents?